Hello guys, what's up? Let's go team users, we got the Awoken and now I will show you guys some, I'll show you guys how to do or how to play the Awoken because this is the guide for beginners, obviously. So when you're learning the game, you end up on this screen to customize your character and I'll just show you your race, it doesn't even matter, it really doesn't. But you can change your appearance if you guys want. Which I will probably change mine to Redwood because Redwood is cool. You customize your username in this game. There's really no point. You can use any name you want. I'll go with Red Yamar. Customize your face. So I'll just go with that face in your face. My antlers would be that one. Face markings, all these stuff don't really matter until. Um, let me just get it. Not like that one. Starting up in the kit. This is also very important. If you guys want, you guys, the best weapon for beginners is definitely sword. You guys can use sword. I think sword is the best for beginning, but I'm using stiletto, stiletto right here. And my, these are your elements slash your powers in the game. Right now, I'm going with fire. And you guys can get, you can pick any of these and when you pick them, it's the only ones you can use. So you unlock them later on. Or you can pick random, which is cool. But if you want, I recommend either using frost draw or flame charm. So core attributes. There are these, Charisma, Willpower, Intelligence, and all that stuff. Fortitude is good, but the Bones and the Flaws are the more important ones. Survivalist, this one is a good one. And Steadfast is this one also. Uh, your Flaws is obvious. And this one, Origin, I recommend spawning at Etria. Echoes, you can pick any of them. Starting knowledge. So, ooh, I think I'll do starting notes. All have great starting notes. And then, let's finalize your character. So this is the intro that we will be given. Uh, rah, rah, rah. Uh, this cutscene scary. So when you spawn in, it'll tell you how to do this stuff. If you guys want to skip the intro, you can, but I recommend don't because this is where you get your first um flame room. And on the bottom, I'll tell you how to do or what to do. But yeah, so let's pick up our dagger. If you get a sword, or the medium, you get a sword. And it doesn't matter what you type here. And then you just want to flash your weapon and talk to them again. And this is just telling you how to like use your weapons and stuff. And then, but the most important thing in this game is what this guy's about to talk about. Is parrying. Hearing is the most important thing in the game by far. So you want to make sure you're really good at pairing because you could be like at max level or something and then a level 1 could beat you because of pairing. So let's talk to him again. This guy will tell you how or help you parry. See, you just have to parry him a couple of times. And then Let's move on to the next lesson. And after this, let's tell you how to use the campfire. Whoa, look at that. And don't mind the stuff in my inventory. I'll explain this on later on in the video. Okay, let's go take a seat. And then he's going to give us some armor. Alright, and then now, right here, he's going to tell us how to get notes. 
in the game or how to sell stuff. And also, in order to slide in the game, I don't think he told us this, but it's just control in the game. You can just, okay. And then you sign us how to get notes. I'm gonna talk to this guy over here to sell notes or to get notes. Bam! I got 35 notes right now. And then let's do this. We a dumbbell. And then our strength increased. This time. Go up here, and then this is where the more important part of it is. This is where you get your first actual um. How do you say this? First actual move. So let's just move all that stuff down there. Uh, just keep talking to him like this until something pops up here. This is where the more important stuff are. So, if you have ice or fire, the mo the one that I recommend is either ice servants or burning servants, alright? So, right now, burning servants is probably the best for the beginners. Fire gun is okay. So, let's go with... Oh, this one is a mysterious one, so you can get a random zero star ability. So, let's go with uh, this move. And... This is what it looks like. So let's get into the more right here is your blood. So if you get hit, you will be losing blood. And the only way to really regain your blood is by making a campfire and taking anyway, it. Your thirst and your hunger is right here. This is your posture. So if you keep blocking, the more you block, um the more you block, this will light up more. Your health. Um, this is your armor, right now my armor is at zero. Uh, this is my ether. When I use a move, ether is the one that counts on the move. It's like, like, chi in most games. And then this is your tempo, so the more you get hit on stuff, you can activate it by pressing G, which automates a auto breakthrough. Oh, and we died. Not features. So what you want to do is climb down to the bottom. Alright, climb down to the bottom and talk to this guy right here for some starting money. So you talk to him and you just say how can I earn money? And I'll just give you the choice to see if you can spare you some cash. And I did so now he gave me fifty nine. Holy crap are rich. So whatever you guys do do not just like do not attack these guys up here or else they will fight back and you will lose lives and the point of the game is to keep living plus you have only three lives okay three lives you don't want to waste those three lives but if you lose a life you can get it back pretty easily by the way so all you have to do is level up once that's all you have to do is just level up once and you get well easy you get your um you get your uh, life back. But what I just did is I crafted some armor because it gives me, because see right here, my armor is at 100. So all I did was just travel north from like this guy to this place. You buy a cloth down here, and then you just talk to this guy here for some cash, or for some armor. But then you just want to follow me, keep doing what I'm doing, you don't have to actually do the running and sprinting thing. But you want to come up here and talk to this guy. He gives you a free item, it, just, it doesn't matter what you press, he gives you a gold ring. And with that gold ring you want to sell it, so don't equip it, just sell it, because it's worth a lot of notes. And you don't even need that really, so. Just follow where I'm going. Until you see, you know you're going the right way if you see the bank right here. But let's continue going this way. Oh, also, so if you see this guy right here, talk to him. He gives you a free axe. Apparently, we have Gobletto right now, but. Hmm, interesting, but okay. 
So let's pick up. Also, remember to pick up anything you really see on the ground because you will need them, like sticks and mushrooms. Mushrooms are gonna be the more important part in the game because those are the probably like the best foods in my opinion. So you want you see this guy and you want to talk to him. I like to sell. So let's sell uh, gold ring. See, it's sold for thirty four dollars. Oh, I guess we can't sell that there. And then we have, oh shit, we have a lot of notes. Oop, I gotta put that one out. Uh, we got a lot of notes. Right now. So what I do recommend doing when you have notes like me, is to buy, like, ankle weights, like this. Uh, prayer beads, all this fun stuff. So let's start putting these stuff up here. There we go. So we have all our stuff down there. And what we're gonna do is the more important part. Alright. And that is to... So, and the way to level up is by using your investment points. And your power is your level, so I'm power 1, obviously, because we just started, so that's level 1. And right now we have 0 on light and weapons and stuff. So when you make your way back to the ring guy, you'd want to go in this direction where I'm going, to the books, to the bookstore. And in my opinion, just look in these things to find how to make friends. Okay, so that'll be another more important part. And now, I think time. I think guys, it's time to show you how to level up and what to do. So first of all, before we get to the island, we're gonna um, I'm gonna show you guys where to go to head to the next island. So just follow what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm gonna make some pit stops along the way. So, you wanna go back to this ring guy, right here, right? this guy, you wanna run just forwards, right, just run forwards till you get to a bridge, like this, see, this bridge right here, you can tell if you're going to the right place because you see these guards, the Etrian guards, Etrian guards, two of them right here, you just wanna follow this bridge, you just want to follow this bridge to the, to the wild area. And remember to collect mushrooms along the way. The more important part. But yeah, so when you get there, you want to go this way. I'm going. You go down to this bridge. Oh, wow. This bridge right here. And... Just... Go this way in the bridge, because this one will lead you to more mushrooms that you'll need. Alright. There we go. Get some mushrooms. Bam. So when you get to the mushrooms, you want to head this way. And just pick up as much mushrooms as you possibly can. And you just want to fall down here. To collect some mushrooms along the way. So as what I, as I'm doing right now, I'm collecting mushrooms along the way. So if you just follow exactly what I'm doing, you, there shouldn't be any really problems. And then for this part, you just want to jump down to this area, and then you can just jump down here, this area. So when you get down here, you'll notice you did it right if there's a waterfall right there. Area is perfect for picking up mushrooms. Then you just want to climb back up here. And if you check any in any bushes, you might find some of these fruits. All right, calabash, calab calabash, and you can eat them, and it gives you uh, thirst and hunger. And thirst and hunger are the more important things in the game. So when you're down there, you can cross the bridge over here or just go where I'm going. And just 
yeah, look for mushrooms along the way. But if you're ready to go on, just follow this path. Just all you gotta do is literally just follow this path until until you get to this cave over in here. You just wanna follow this cave until you reach the next city. So let's just go down the cave and let's go see. So we made it to this place right here. We need to get here and this is a um a well that you can use to get water. So let's collect a little more resources while we're here. Okay, so this is the part where I'm gonna tell you how to level up or so what you want to do is you get, so if you chose fire, you get the hearth gem and stuff. So you want to press either like ankle weights, dumbbells, hearth gem, how to make friends, prayer beads, training events, and weapons manual. And when you press it, you should see an arrow above what you just used. Flame charm is for my fire. Weapon manual is for my light weapon. My training, actually I don't want to put on my training guys. I make a friend, you just want to type this up. You ever been to a Alo Canor restaurant? Question mark. The foods. Pretty howl. Right, and then period. Up. Oh. If it didn't work, you just have to do it again. Until he says you you feel your charisma improving, then you want to use your dumbbell to increase that. And there we go. Same with the prayer beads. If you bought the prayer beads. You feel your willpower increasing. Alright, and then you can either do training vest or um, ankle weight. So I'm going to go with the training vest though. So when you're here, this is where you begin you know, your training. Oh, my charisma improved. Uh, where is my how to make a friend? Like how will right up? Oh, I guess not. Uh, it doesn't matter about that. So now, all you want to do, oh, first of all, not bad. You want to talk to this guy right up here. Just talk to him until he gives you a repair kit thing. Then you want to talk to this guy and this guy right here. You want to craft a boat. These boats do cost notes. Notes is the thing that we buy stuff with. So. With the dinghy, you want to press build because the dinghy is the only free one. You just want to spawn it in. And this is where I'm going to show you how to power up. So when you're done, just follow exactly what I do. Because this part will be the more confusing part. You just want to follow along where I go. Because this is where we're going to go for the starting island. Because this is how we're going to level up and increase our strength, fortitude, agility, intelligence, willpower, and charisma. Plus our flame charm and our light weapons. So, let's head on in this direction. Just follow everything I do, and I promise you won't get lost. Well, you probably will, but... 
If you just keep going where I'm going, you certainly shall not get lost. As badly. But when you're here, you'll see another highway entrance. This is where we get our speed boost, right here. So our highway entrance is right here. The highway entrance, right here. So when you turn in, you will notice that our speed... Oh, then I crashed. Ah, this boat, what is it doing? Uh, this boat does not want to cooperate with us, guys. So let's just go this way. Okay, so now you see how we slow it down. It's because we entered in the freeway to slow us down. So up ahead, you should see um, an island. That is um, the beginner island where we start to level up and learn how to, well, parry. And alrighty guys, we just landed in the lower Isria parts. So when you look, when you walk in, ooh, what, ooh, we just found that. That's pretty cool. So just walk around until you see a group of mobs spawn. I think our base is over here. I'm gonna put. Uh, you guys don't have to worry what I just did. This is about a base that I made so that my f so that we can stay here for our safe spot. But anyways, don't mind that area. Oh, there's fighting. You guys can hear the fighting in there. See? Yep. Here it is. You wanna continue fighting these guys? And you just want to keep fighting those guys until you level up. Alright, and then I'll show you guys what happens when you lose your lives, just like that. So, when you're on the starting island, right guys, you'll notice that you find a lot of mods. And if you find a big giant shark monster, do not fight those guys. Those guys are incredibly strong and they will kill you. And the same as those guys, those guys are incredibly strong as well. So don't fight those guys either. Fight regular ones that spawn in or mudskippers. But when you do that, you load in, after you lose your two lives, you load into, well, you load into the depths slash the Salator Wastes. So when you get in here, I don't really think I can really help you get out of here. Oh shoot, I just, oh god, this game is laggy. But, I can't really help you get out of here because I'm not really sure how to get out of here too. But, oh, actually yes, I can't help you. So, oh, well, that oh, thing man. right there, guys. I don't, rec I don't recommend fighting those guys. Uh, Alright, because those guys... Right there are incredibly strong. As you guys can clearly see, these guys are way too strong. So all you guys really want to do is just escape as much as you physically can. Assuming that thing isn't after us anymore. So you just want to try to find a way out of the depths. Oh, pass through, let me pass through. What is that? What is that? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, we're dead. Oh. And that right there, guys, is the reason why the depths is in a good place. And that is a deep owl. Alright, so I don't know what just happened there, but... Anyways... Let's not talk about that. So, when you get here, this is what happens if you die three times. Alright. 
So let's just take off all this stuff. So this is where we are. You would want to talk to this guy right here. Talk, say, I don't want to remember, and please do. And then when you do that, you want to go over here and talk to your past self a couple more times. And when you do, you will spawn back at the main thing, and then it will send you back to the tutorial. So if you guys do consider it, I am going to be doing a playthrough of this game with my friends. So just stay tuned for that. But Anyways, yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next one.